I thought, um, what, you know, this is my swan song. What am I going to say that they're interested in anymore because I'm no longer leading any of those agencies? But then I realized this is my perfect opportunity to say thank you to everyone who's participated in any of the work for the city of New York. I mean, not only through the pandemic, which is just really, uh, you guys have performed miracles, but, you know, over the 28 years of my commitment to this city and to this government, um, I have seen such incredible devotion and incredible work being done throughout the city of New York. You know, my 10 years as president of School Construction Authority, some of the most beautiful, innovative, exciting schools were built and they were always built on time and on budget, which is an amazing feat for any contractor along the way. And then for my three years at DDC, um, I met so many interesting and different types of contractors who do incredible work, particularly the infrastructure and road contractors who worked every single day throughout the pandemic, which was incredible. So I just want to say from my perspective, before I talk about recovery, how grateful I am. And I want to thank each and every one of you for everything you've done to make me look good all these years. So thanks so much for that. Now, let me just talk a little bit about where we are with recovery. I think everybody here sees it every day. It's exciting to see things really moving forward. Um, you know, when I started this position, when the mayor asked me to do this, I thought there are four things that really need to happen in order for this city to come back. One of them, clearly, vaccinations, vaccinations, vaccinations. And today, I think the mayor um, announced over 9 million shots have been given. I mean, that's an amazing feat. Uh, the second thing that needed to happen in my mind was schools reopening. I think parents were really, really pressured uh, with remote learning. What do I do with my kid if I have to go to work? How can I possibly do my work online as well as teaching my kid remotely? So knowing that schools will be coming back full time in September, I think has been a real relief for New Yorkers all over the place. And I think particularly women who've been really impacted by this pandemic, um, loss of jobs, um, real difficulties through this time. So I thought that that was important. It was important for parents to know that after school programs will be happening, it's important for parents to know that sports and all of those other things that really made school exciting for these kids are coming back and coming back full time. I think the third thing that we talked about that really needed to happen was workforce coming back. And in our chat room, I talked a little bit to the folks there about how many folks have actually seen their workforce come back. I think what happened, which was a really great idea, was to have the city's workforce come back in force. And we did that, we brought 80,000 uh, workers back. That's not including, of course, the people who have been working throughout, the, the sanitation people in the police department and the fire department. These are in-office people. We know it's safe. We, we are anxious to get to work for the, the people of the city of New York. And they, they are back and they're back in force. Um, and then the fourth and final thing that I thought was really, really important was getting our cultural institutions back. And you're seeing more of that. And we've done a lot of work to help them along the way. For example, we located a uh, vaccination site right in the center of Broadway. And therefore, the 97,000 employees that work in Broadway stages and Broadway theaters were able to go directly there to get a vaccination. Um, I mean, museums. Uh, you saw the, um, the Museum of Natural History giving out vaccination under the Great Whale. 
Um, and so those are the kinds of things that we are, are doing to really encourage folks to get vaccinated. But I think one of the things that I left out in my thoughts about what it was going to take was really our restaurants. And I have to say a special thank you to the entire restaurant industry. When you think about how they had to adapt from the beginning of this pandemic and throughout, first closing completely, then opening for takeout, then opening for takeout and delivery, and then standing up outdoor restaurants, then having 30% of their indoor restaurant having patrons, and then 50% and 75% and now 100%, thank goodness. They deserve a medal for how they've been able to adapt and move forward and get this city going. So uh, to them, I, I owe everything, I really do, because if I was ever asked to cook every night, my family would starve. So I just know that they have been a godsend to us. Obviously, all of our essential workers, all of our healthcare workers, our police, our firefighters, EMS, all of those folks. And that's why we're gonna be doing this ticker tape parade on July 7th, just to show them how much we care. It was great that every night at seven o'clock, we all applauded from our windows, but now we're gonna be able to see them in person and applaud them in person, which is really, really critical. We're gonna have a great summer. Got a lot of great things planned. We're gonna have a homecoming week, which is going to be stunning and it's gonna be throughout the city. And we're gonna have fun and we're gonna be New York City once again. Now, I'm not a fool and I understand that there are concerns about crime, obviously. And, you know, we're working on that very, very seriously every day. Um, but I also wanna remind folks, this is a nationwide problem right now. This is a problem every big city across the nation is dealing with. A lot of it has to do with illegal guns throughout this, this country. And we have to do something to stop that. But understand the city, the mayor, the police department, and everyone else is focused on this 100%. So I think, you know, if I have any um, thing further to talk about, we need all of you. We need all of you to, to understand that our city is safer when we're all out there together. It's, it means that you're not going to have that isolated person who's sitting in a, a subway car at 11 o'clock at night who is, you know, a, a target for craziness. The other thing too, is you have to recognize that for, the, for this period of time, lots of homeless folks have been put into hotels throughout the city. And that was basically be really something that we had to do based on CDC guidelines, based on the state, state guidelines. And it was important to keep people safe and alive. Now we are going through the process of bringing those, those folks back to the shelters where they can get the services that they need. And this is very, very critical. And so a lot of the perception of crime had to do with people seeing homeless folks throughout their neighborhoods that had never seen them before. And now I think you will see that begin to change and in some neighborhoods, actually mine, uh, Midtown East, they welcome with open arms a homeless shelter within our neighborhood. And we've really, really worked, partnered with them to help those folks along the way. So, you know, it, it was uh, difficult, but in some cases it worked out for the benefit of not only the homeless, but for the communities that, that they are in. So. I think I wanna look at that from a very positive light because now I think we really have to recognize that we're in this for each other. We're in this together. And so it's really, really important that you folks understand that we have, you know, 
started up our $17 billion capital program again. I know that folks in the industry were, 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 were uh, affected by the pause that went into effect, particularly on the design side. It was very, very difficult, but we're back and we're moving forward. And now we have a president in the White House who actually believes that infrastructure is critical. And I really urge all of you to work really, really hard to whomever is your elected officials in Washington to get them to support the infrastructure plan. It will help all of us. And so generally speaking, I wanna say once again, it has been an honor, the thrill of my life to have been able to do all of this tremendous work throughout the city. I tell everybody who was leaving or retiring from school construction, and now I can say that to those folks from the Department of Design and Construction, that you can drive through this city and you can know that not only have you touched and benefited millions of school kids, but you've touched and benefited all of New York City residents. And you should be so, so proud of the work that you've done. So again, that goes for everybody on this call. You've all contributed. We're so, so grateful to everything that you've done and continue to do. And I have a feeling, maybe I'm crazy, but we'll all meet again someday and we'll all celebrate together. So thank you so much.